Hello and welcome to this video in which I discuss the M plus default settings for a latent profile analysis. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials usually related to multivariate statistical methods such as latent class analysis, latent profile analysis, structural equation modeling and factor analysis and often involving the M plus software. If this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel. Also don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources including a link to my newsletter as well as additional free videos and workshops. So in this video I want to discuss the M plus default settings for a latent profile analysis. And so let's jump right into the M plus output file here for a three class latent profile analysis model that I already ran. This analysis is of a data set with five personality variables, scale scores that um, are supposed to reflect the big five personality traits, emotional stability, extraversion, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. Three classes were extracted here using the type equals mixture option in M+. And so let's take a look at what M+, gives you for a latent profile analysis when you go with the M+, defaults, when you don't specify anything special in M+. So let's go down to the parameter estimates. And so here you can see that by default, M plus gives us class specific means and class specific variances. And so typically of interest are especially the means of the indicator variables in each class, because those are the ones that give us the profiles that show how the classes differ in terms of their mean profiles. And so here, for example, class one differs in terms of the mean for emotional stability, the mean here is higher than the emotional stability mean in class two, for example. And so what you will notice then is that for the variances, M plus has a default setting where the variances are held equal across classes for a given indicator. For example, the emotional stability variance estimate in class one is 1.932 and you find the exact same estimate also for emotional stability in class two and also in class three. So, and then the same for extraversion, you can see here the variance is 2.147 and 2.147 here as well. So all the indicators are assumed to have equal variances across all classes. Now, this is something that you may or may not find plausible or useful for your analysis and it's something that you might want to change or at least you might want to look at what result you get if the variances are not constrained to be equal across classes because that constraint may not be plausible. And so how can you change that default setting where the variances are constrained to be equal in M plus? We can go to our input file and we can add a model statement. So for simplicity, I already prepared that model statement, so I, I can just paste it in here. And so this model statement now includes class specific statements, which you don't need if you go with the M plus defaults where the means can differ and the variances can not differ. But if you want to change the variances to be freely estimated in each class, then you need a class specific statement for each class in which the variances are listed. And so here you have the indicators listed before a semicolon, which then refers to the variances of these indicators in that class. If you use brackets, then that would refer to their means. But when you list them without brackets, then those that statement refers to the variable variances. And so this sign here or this uh, statement here percent l pound one percent refers to latent class one so that's the class label um, notice that the classes here were labeled l for latent i couldn't use c because c is already an indicator name for conscientiousness and so m plus will not allow you to use the same label for a class variable when there's an indicator with that label as well so I used L and so then therefore I refer to each latent class as L pound one, L pound two, L pound three and so on in these percentage signs. So this means this is my class specific statement for class one. 
this is my class specific statement for class 2 and this is my class specific statement for class 3 and so by listing the variances there each time I'm freeing them up so that they will be estimated as independent parameters in each class. Now another thing that M plus also does by default is it assumes that the variables um, do not have covariances within class. So another, as I say, implicit default is that um, all the covariances between indicators are constrained to zero within each class. And this is also something that sometimes we want to relax that constraint. And so then again, you could do this by including a class specific statement in one class or several classes or all classes where, for example, you allow a covariance between certain indicators. And I'm just making something up here to show you how that would work, not that it would make sense here. But let's say if you wanted to allow emotional stability to have a within class association with extraversion in class one, you would write ES with E semicolon. And then that covariance that is now by default fixed to zero would then be freely estimated. And so that way you could um, uh, relax that constraint. So let's take a look at this and see if this model will run with these additional freed up parameters. See what we get here and we would have to check the solution because the best log likelihood value here was not replicated. There weren't enough starting values used by default here this is, um, log, log likelihood value here at the top is slightly different than the next best one so we should definitely examine that and I have a separate video on how to increase the number of starts to avoid local maxima in latent class and latent profile analysis here on that channel that you can check out but for now let's just assume that this is a valid solution and let's see what we get here and so you can see that now we have this within class association between emotional stability and extraversion here that we admitted in class one. It's not significant. It doesn't make any sense. So I didn't do this um, because it made sense, but only to show you how you would free up such a covariance. And then also you can now see that the variances are no longer constrained to be equal across classes. For example, emotional stability has now a variance estimate of 1.956 in class one and 2.149 in class two. So the variance is now allowed to vary freely between classes and the same for extraversion and so on. The variance estimates are now different between the classes. So this is how you can override the M plus defaults by including these class specific statements. It would be the same thing if you did it, if you ran a latent class analysis and you wanted to free something up or have a class specific constraint or something like that, you would use these class specific statements. But it's especially important to know for latent profile analysis because you may not like the M plus defaults there. Uh, in particular, you may not like the default of having equal variances across those classes because that may not be plausible and reviewers uh, may ask you and say, hey, why did you go with those defaults? Did you also test a model where the variances were freely estimated and so on? So it's useful to know. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and to check out the description for additional resources. And I'll see you next week.